Hiya, it's WMZ and we're back today with an episode of Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. I am super excited and I have some new stuff. Look at my Geralt. Can you guys notice something? Look at that drip. That armor. Geralt. I love you. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you guys in game what I did off camera, but yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and dude that took me so long but I didn't realize I was like how can I get grandmaster armor shit I want that you know and I checked on internet I was like I'm sure in blood and one you can get your armor upgraded I feel like I've seen that in like a pop-up or something and then they were like, yeah, but you need to make the master crafted first. And I was like, oh, I have superior. So I went ahead and did the treasure treasure hunt for the master uh, crafted armor and swords. And then I had to craft them. And there were a lot of ingredients that I didn't have and I had to dismantle and then I had to buy some special alchem uh, alchemy stuff and then I had to mix it and then craft and then I could craft the fucking... It took a while guys, I'm not kidding, I, th I think it took like two hours, it was crazy. I did the Ursin Steel Sword, the uh, Silver Sword, and all the set is now master fucking crafted. I'm so happy, look at how he looks, and I put a gray dye because black honestly looks fucking amazing but i kind of want to keep it for if i get grandmaster crafted armor so for now we're gonna keep it like this but i mean mm, that's so good iris is still a bay honestly very good but I kind of want to try with my new sword, so we'll see. I also went ahead and at the same time I saw that the other treasure hunt for the Grandmaster armor was the Master 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 quest, so I did that. So now I have the... Uh, Grandmaster diagrams and I gave it to this dude but the problem is I'm gonna show you guys greetings the problem right now is that that's not what I wanted to do the problem is that I can't craft them you know why because they have so many weird ass fucking thing well that's not too bad actually oh that's master crafted wait 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 Grandmaster like Infused Slizard Hide and Enriched Diamond Meritium Plate Like, do, do, do you see how much that is? What the fuck? And if I want to make it It's so complicated Look at that I'm gonna show you If I wanna make this I need two Enriched Diamond Meritium Ingot Which is uh, this and to do this, I need two enriched dimaterium ore. And to do this, I need one dimaterium ore, one horikilshkum ore, and acid extract. Like, that's just insane. So, what I'm thinking, and that's just for, like, for example, the boots. Can you imagine? I need to make that for also for the, the armor. Like, where is it? This one! Oh, it looks amazing though. It, it seems to really look amazing. Like, for real, I do not have the money for this right now. I do not have the stuff that I could dismantle. I don't think so. Like, I can't really dismantle for, uh, like, Dimeterium Ingot. At least I didn't see. 
It's just insane. It's just insane to get the stuff for crafting it and also the money. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if I can get more money or something during the... That's copper. During the um, the quests in Blood and Wine, I don't know. But from what I understand, basically that's like end game. Almost like replay New Game Plus type of armor, you know what I mean? So I'm I'm a little bit Farewell. bummed. I'm a little bit bummed out, but I I understand it 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 makes sense that it's not simple to make. You know what I mean? It totally makes sense, but it still makes me angry. So, anyways, maybe I can buy something from him though. Hello. A fund of shortcuts. <gasps> Gwent. I kind of want to play Gwent. Okay, what do you have? Oh! Interesting. Huh. I can buy flowers! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know for what. I can buy myself flowers and I can hold my own hand Necker Warrior, Basilisk, Grave Hag, Forktail Al Ghoul Arc Arc Griffin Oh Oh Okay, she has a lot of stuff. I might come back for more. I might come back for more. Well, farewell. So long. So long, my queen. Be careful, you do not trample any herbs. Of course not. What'd you take me for, a barbarian? Oi. Okay, so. Now we are at what quest? Where children toil, toys waste away. It proved quite the other role for Regis, a sacrifice one might say, but they obtained the last ingredient regard for resonance, and the vampire could prepare the concoction. Garon drank a dose, vision ensued, he saw that love meet and speak to a young but black. Then the witcher and the vampire set off in search of the boy. So that's what we're going to do now. Last episode was absolutely insane. Regis was being tortured, basically. Oh, that's just there. <laughs> nice. Um, I also did a new deconcoctions. Wait, I want to show you guys. Wait. I want to show y'all. Uh, I did... No, that's not it. Echidna. I did Echidna Decoction. Performing actions that consume stamina regenerates vitality. Um, yes, please. I want more. Like, are you kidding me? That's amazing. So anyway, I did that. And that's about it, honestly. I didn't do that much off camera. I just wanted to... What? Oh, okay. I just wanted to upgrade basically and look amazing and I think I have achieved that purpose I hope you guys agree you, you little fart. Whatever's the problem, kind sirs? kind sirs so how would you explain it whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates we've always mud up to our ankles here I just hope we don't kill that laugh honestly fickle weather. fickle weather I've seen you you empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your That's bum very, with my um, belt. Intelligent. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher. A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. 
Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like. After we tan his hide. Tan his so hide! Down. Not gonna happen. Oh, oh god bitch. damn! Fist fight! Well, fist fight! You as well, which is all the same to me. <gasps> okay. <gasps> Take for a ride. Oh, I, I didn't Teach need to do that. I forgot how to play. I was blocking. His form. Nice. By the way, I changed a couple of things on my mic. So I hope everything sounds okay. I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? <laughs> They're losing their time. Making things difficult for me. <laughs> That's good. I'm just uh, looking at my audio mixer. I'm still listening. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official Dutchy business. Okay. Everything's good. Come on. Boy, is it true? You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Yeah? How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard, and as you're the stronger, come morn you'd take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. <laughs> Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. He's a little businessman, eh? So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. Okay, Axie. I'm sorry. You be kidding me. Axie. What would you do with that kind of coin? Yeah. Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, ah, oh, let's accede, but I kind of want to negotiate. All right. Because he is, he is intelligent. Out. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. Question. Quite simply, no. Just one problem. Don't have the coin. See if I can't get some, then come back. I shall patiently await your return. Can I use Axie now? Well, Greek. Tell. Shit. Oh, fuck it. 
Here, the coin. Fuck me. Put it to good use. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir. I do not look up to see where... Why did I give you fucking 500 crowns? It you're completely you're useless. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am. You're not even brushing the I'm boot, the bitch! <laughs> what is that air brushing? Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. I kind of like that he's smart, though. But I kind of want to punch him at the Handled same time. Kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning the right thing to bribe mm. him with. It's 500 crowns. It's still 500 crowns, eh? I'm 500 crowns less now. And I do not appreciate. It's red door. Ooh. One that Boot Black mentioned. Okay. Dead love! We've come to talk! To talk? Which, yeah. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. Hard! Well stand out in the street, pound on a drum, and holler, Dead love, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. The music. Oh. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? <laughs> Skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Toys here, like children's Sense toys. Him. He's not here. <laughs> he recently, his scent is still strong. Let's Let's look look at around. all those marionettes. I don't know how you call them in English. What's up with that, eh? Loot. Mm, don't we really need? Oh, what is this? Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. What the fuck? Eviction notice. Due to the non-payment of rent for the premises used for shopkeeping purposes, the administrative court of Beauclair orders the tenant Ulrich de Samp. To vacate the premises within seven days. Not complying with this eviction notice shall cause a cust custodial sentence to be imposed on the debtor. The length of the sentence shall be determined by the debtor's court. By Victor Lamer. Uh-huh. Dying solution. 
No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Yes, I know you said. Dear Master Shopkeeper, for a long, long time I've been asking my parents to buy me a toy. Mommy always cries and says that we haven't got any money. That he gets cross when I ask him when he will earn some and once he nearly hit me. My friends have beautiful toys. Laura has a teddy bear. Michelle has a doll with golden hair that you can brush with a real comb. I worry that we'll never have a toy, which is why I'm writing to you, Master Shopkeeper. I wanted to write this letter to you a long time ago, but I didn't know how to write then. Now I know. <laughs> That's so cute. If you have a pretty toy that other children don't want, I will look after it. I will be... It will be happy with me. Please don't laugh at me. I know I am little, but I also know that toys are not really alive. They only live in our imagination, but so what? I would love it very much. Is that I love her! That's so cute. I wonder how old she is. Like six or something? She's very mature for her age. I'm just assuming, obviously, but that's so cute. Nice little trinket. In this one. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. <laughs> what? Why mm. would you? Somebody fixed this recently. Okay, let's go up the stairs. So this is his nest. Oh, a woman. Around. Attic. Let's go. Suspicious letter. Dead love van der Heretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. Jesus. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renawed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. There we go. That's what I was you thinking. I knew it. Three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlav killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into Yeah. He even killed his friend for the... For, I hope it was not the Bruxa that we... Slain. Any idea what it could be? Detlav have any enemies? Indeed. Detlav gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One mm. might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Her? Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Never meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her hmm. belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Dedlov have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? Mm -hmm. And Dedlov is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. Mm -hmm. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Dedlov ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important. Higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Damn. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks. Leave no way. Sounds fishy. To find out. Yeah. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her. Get her back. He's prepared to kill. That's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Would they say Triss if you were a monstrous? I'm really interested yeah, I in get that. It now. 
He's out That's to weird. rescue a female from his pack. Team Yen. <laughs> exactly. Right. So someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Hmm. Need to look around some more. Yep. Good gracious. She's pretty. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. That Renawed. I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Really? Hmm. Serious? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. Maybe in another, another no game? Dust mark. I don't know. Somebody moved this I don't know. <laughs> I keep saying that. I'm sorry. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Let's not take the dolls. There's another letter there. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de la Croix. Detloff's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. No. He can see that with his cat eyes? Interesting. See the color? Ink is ah. cinnabarite. Okay, makes sense now. Mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. Okay. I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still very good. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Blackmailer. Kind of curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind. Another vampire. Mm. Precisely. The plot thickens. The plot Just thickens. A Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink. And not in his handwriting. With not much. wine. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. I would say true, yeah. Actually, it is. Detloff's being manipulated. Yeah. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowet. Render the blackmail I still, senseless. I'm sorry. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detloff. That's one idea. I still need to talk to him, though, to make sure. Be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? Well, we know who he's gonna go after. To it's hand. easy. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. You just need to protect them. Put them in the, somewhere that is safe. You, no, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Wait, there's something I didn't see. Uh, it's up. This. Oh shit! I can't see it. Oh well. Ooh! I just gained a level. Wait a minute. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Do something? No, we can't. I don't have anything, dude. Mm. I'm missing um greater green mutagens. <laughs> Jesus fuck that was loud. Why do you? Oh my god. 
Uh, yeah, let's improve this, maybe. I'm gonna keep the other point. Rire. I I still need to talk to him just to make sure that I'm not actually making a mistake. I should take this. Sometimes not trusting the map is a good idea. Okay, Duchess, I'm coming for you, girl. She is up, so I... Um, does it go up here? Yes, it does. At your service, Witcher. <laughs> the way they sound like the <laughs> it's so good. In here, right? No? What do you mean? Up ah, here. Beautiful palace. Look at that. Can I live here, please? A bard! To be honest, Are you, um... Discount and the lion? <laughs> oh, you are Discount and the lion. Mm, oh. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived, and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? More complicated. This is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very Can you wait for my explanation? The situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? Oh, shut up, slayer? bitch. But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and ah! drive a stake through He's it. a higher vampire, garlic's bitch. Garlic's useless against vampires. <laughs> Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Yeah. Invention. Oh my god. Legends and fables. And we saw garlic with Regis. I was a child. Regis cave. Martha always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. Mm. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Stay out of this. Whoa, this is work for a witcher. Uh, whoa. Not for <laughs> the way said it. The witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened <sighs> veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred. Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. Oh, you see. have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Mm. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet They're standing really still close. Brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack mm. anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. Yeah. They employ Just reason. like human. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Thank God you asked. It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Yeah, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved Because it's us not all? their purpose. Don't usually meddle in our matters. Yeah. Mostly it's stay so out of way because they don't care about humans one Good way or Lord. the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> they 
They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her Grace summons a Witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. I, I kill. His was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Only when. Blackmail? Be so kind necessary. as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Hire vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally rich, capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human, and he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free, or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. <sighs> Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only have the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Wait a minute. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. Doesn't she look like Rena, the girl? <laughs> Doesn't she, doesn't she look a bit like her, though? But red hair instead of black, I guess. Well, it was just a drawing, but... Isn't she? No, no, no. What do you propose Conspiracies. Do? My mind is just wondering. But I was looking at her face I'll like... find the blackmailer. Free the vampire's lover. <laughs> you were to Go. destroy him. <laughs> Help him. I don't know. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Maybe a twin sister. I don't mm. know. I admit to being swayed, which Thank you. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Mm. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Mm. Your Grace wished to see me. Damn, he was close. Witcher? What is this wine? Smell it. Show him the paper scrap. Taste it. <laughs> then Please. Why can you determine which wine? Sommelier. Now I want wine. Mm. Just sniffing. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Saint Latour. Jesus. The obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue deep burgundy. Clarity high. It's simple, Saint Real, the 1269 vintage. Jesus! That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castle Ravenna. Which means? Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some Saint Real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. I thought, it, I thought it was vineyard and not vineyard. But I, I know the accent is all over the place. Saint Real. Here. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Mm. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. <gasps> In matters the of gasp. wine, Benoit is never mistaken. Benoit? If he says it's Saint Real, it is Saint Real. We must ride to Castel Ravello at once. Discover what has happened. Wait, your grace wants to go with mm. me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally mm. agree on something. But I've made my decision. We Take off the skirts again. <laughs> by the best possible escorts. 
You, Captain, and Geralt. Oh, no. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Yeah, what then about me? Do I need to change as well? No. That armor on, on uh, the captain's horse is amazing. What the hell? That must be so heavy though. But it really protects like the whole bum of the horse. I don't know how to explain. Even the front too. This vampire. Have you ever faced its sword okay. before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill Oops. it? Didn't I'm have too to fast. fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? No, of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. We're just gonna have to kill him, and I don't want that to happen, honestly. I see fire at the end there. I really hope that everything gets sorted. I'm guessing my choices will have an impact as well. Panthers have attacked the wagon! We must help! Stay back, your grace! We shall see to this! Back, you beast! Be gone! Panthers? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I kind of want to try my um, my new potion, uh, Echidna. Help, save us. Oh my god. Ooh. That's amazing, dude. Help, save us. Done. Time to move on. And it if, lasts if forever. They were fortunate we happened by. We saved our lives. Hooray! There we go. I'm um, full health. <laughs> oh. Okay. You smell that? Those are the vapors of Tucson. <sighs> Faster. It lasts for super long. Look at that. Amazing. So if you use a lot of signs, and maybe Whirl, he trustworthy. He's held his post for years. Whirl would work, I think. There's never been a problem. And Rand. So now, I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonrial stain. How did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Yeah, we just arrived. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. 
Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... Your Grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. She looks As amazing. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. A little bit like a sorceress. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? This is an inspection. We've got questions. You'll answer them. Oh, and who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost She always respect. does that, hand gesture. Of... of course, your grace. Thank you, Duchess. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted oh, to answer your every question. Want to talk mm -hmm. about San Real? I am at your service. Hmm. The San Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? Vineyard. I might okay. say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Son Real. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. Mm. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is the Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Jesus. Come, Witcher. I, I still had a question for him, though. I... I did nothing wrong. We shall wait here, Master Fabricio. Yeah, yeah, stay, stay here. What if Fabricio is blackmailing the vampire? Mm. Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He Dude, I really want her been. whole set. His father set. flitted away the family She looks fortune. fucking amazing. Look at that little cape. Knowledge of wine. The That's pants. Cool. Fabricio Sorry, lived I'm as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. The detail on it. Oh, looks so good. She knew exactly where it was, after all. On the right. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Ever loose. Let's take everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. 
Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Mm-hmm. Est, est. Est, est. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. Fiorano. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palate of his. Hmm. <laughs> Pomino? Got Pomino over here. Oh, but it's not the 69. Oh, yeah. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Mm. Keep looking. Okay, there's more on the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. I wanted to take that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wrong here. Saint Real. Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right year. Ah! Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hit a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Okay. Let's go. Maybe it's the torch that is creating a... Okay. Oh, come on. Why... Okay. Full. This one's full too. Full. This one's full too. Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Real? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Yeah, I already took the hammer. Haha! <laughs> Ready. Step aside. I want to taste it too. We're going to be drunk when we get out of here. So. Mm. I'd recognize this taste anywhere. This one is good. My torch. Hmm. Oh. Revolting. Maybe it's poison, eh? Plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. <laughs> Don't look at me. I... I, I admit it. I... I, I oh, shit. Sorry, I'll... I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. 
the sum they offered. It was enormous. Strange. Why would I they do that? Is like, what I provide not enough? Is it like a fake lead? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Who do you sell the wine to? Yeah, that's the most important part. A few part. weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name. He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. Really? I have no Sintra in the court. Emperor Emir? <laughs> really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. <laughs> right. I thank you, Your Grace. You must forgive me. I'm sorry I'm adjusting. Because I moved. Sorry about that. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met fur under everywhere. the cover of darkness <laughs> in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. Okay. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. Hide I mean, charge. thanks to him, we found the lead, I guess, though. What now, Witcher? If it wasn't for the wine... Set a trap. <laughs> need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and noble but I see that blackmailer. wine is sacred Next, and too sensible. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will yep. set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You will take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Okay. For Astra. An ambush. Relax. Now we wait. That, that's strange that they have only... That's so strange. They have only the mouthpiece. I don't know the words in English. I'm so sorry. But they have only the mouthpiece without having the whole harness. The, the horses, I mean. Ah, our favorite so... How does it stay there? Why does it stay there? If they don't have the whole harness, they just... They would just... Blah, 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 and then it would fall. It's literally just a... That's strange. I don't think I've ever seen that, but... I'm not... Like, a professional or anything, but... Like... It's just in their mouth, that's it. It's not like in a harness or anything. I need to research later if that really exists. Okay. So 
So are we taking a prisoner or? Ready? <laughs> Just sneeze! <need. laughs> oh, I'm so sorry! Okay! Wait, I could do this. Like. No? I guess not. I am putting fire on them, eh? Ow. It consumed stamina, but it didn't regenerate. Okay. Jesus. Ow. Okay, you're... Okay! Dude! Are you fucking done? Sacred. Is it just me? <clears throat> did we agree you'd wait for my signal? Yeah. That was the plan, but great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. Mm. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the okay. scoundrels. That's what I was thinking. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Nice. I had no reason to trust me. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True, you are not the most endearing <laughs> man. He is to At me. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth, and I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Wait, she here? I hope you did not think I would leave this to you alone. Especially when every though. hour could prove essential. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <laughs> Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. <sighs> Once again, who sent you? Your Maybe Axie? Lover. They call him... Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? What? Usually only take measures like that as a last resort, but in this case, I think I can make an exception. Do as you deem fit. He is all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. They're glitches, eh? won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let him! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No, don't let him. I I'll talk. He's gonna. 
I thought he was going to hop off. Barrels. Where were you going to take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader. Only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Who hired you? He... he'll kill me! Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. The only Cintrian I know is become. Emperor Emir. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. <laughs> Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. <laughs> it's late. Relax, level 44. We're gaining levels so fast in this DLC. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally is tired as fuck. Let him meditate. Look at him! Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. There we go. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Gerrit. Oh. Not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease. A man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? You've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. 
Is that like theater? Andragora. What's that? A club. An affiliation oh. of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only mm -hmm. wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Nice. Got Going there the then. Centrian. Seems we have to go to that get together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Cynthian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Mm -hmm. Precisely what we shall do. We, your grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Mm -hmm. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. What am I gonna wear? <laughs> She's quite the woman. I love that he extinguished that. That was cool. Mm. I should double the patrols. Just in case. Wax. Audacious rat, the Cedrian. But we'll get him. No. <gasps> Let's put on some clothes. Is it far? Not at all. We can go by foot. We'll do that and I think... I might stop... <sighs> of course. I was about to. They really depicted me well, eh? That was a beautiful portrait. I throw on an empty stomach. Oh, dreadful. All right, it's here. There we go. Ooh. Sir. Sacre bleu. That's how it's written. <clears throat> it's a crime. There is no excuse. Ah. There is but the need to outfit you anew. <laughs> my salon stands open. Please come Oh my come god. In. Go in. aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Okay. Ooh. Okay, those are similar to... Elegant Beauclair Double. Let's wear that. I think I already have a wolf mask somewhere. We need Elegant Beauclair trousers and we need the boots. And yeah, I do think I still have the masks uh, in my quest items. Yeah. So, we all good. 
Should I sell something else? Or? Nah. Thanks. Thank you. Ever your servant, sir. Let me change. Let me meditate right here. There we go. And let me change. <laughs> Damn. Okay, Geralt of Rivia. There we go. Or maybe this one. It's kind of cool. We also have this. Does it fit more? It kind of fits more, eh? It kind of does. We also have this. <laughs> or this. King Faultist. No, I think the best one is... Uh, it's not even wolf. It's the golden one. This one. Elegant mask for a masquerade ball. Yeah. That might just be it. Now nobody can recognize me, right? Maybe I shouldn't steal. Yeah. Ah. Okay, let's play some Gwent. In the mood for a round of Gwent. And then we're gonna end it here, I think. So someone in the comments said that Gunter Odim will summon any Gunter Odim card, even if it's not exactly the same like this one, but not the other way around. So if you want to be using Gunter Odim Darkness, you need two Darkness. But if you want to be using any Gunter Odim, then you can just use Gunter Odim and it's gonna work, is what I understood. So we are definitely going to put all those and then... I think that's... Oh, and a decoy. Uh... And then... Change leaders, maybe. can take the fog out. There we go. And maybe... Yeah, I think that's good. Let's try. Oh, it's cancelled, really. Well, fuck me. gonna change clear and maybe frost you yeah that was a good idea want him to use his cards.
There we go. I think I'm gonna stop here because he, he's gonna have to to play again. If he wants to win. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty good. Really? Okay. It's gonna be a big battle at the end. I'm starting, right? That was good. I might lose. I think I'm losing, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Even if I use Torrential Rain, I don't think it's gonna... Oh, I have only one Gunter Odim. I thought I had two. Oops. Yeah. Damn. I lost. Ah, I need a better deck. I really do. <laughs> you cannot attack this target. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Let me maybe. Got gotcha. Are you okay? I didn't need to do that. Let's stop here. Look at Carol! Jennifer would be proud. Let's save. There we go. Very interesting. Still loving this DLC, I gotta say. <laughs> like Regis said, the plot thickens. I just really hope that we don't have to kill Dead Love because I feel like all of this might not be his fault, really. I mean, yes, he killed people, but he is being blackmailed, at least we think so. And just overall seems like it's, it's just that he's in love you know what i mean so i don't know like yes he should be brought to justice i guess but then again like who's the real perpetrator you know we'll see we'll see still killing people i just want to talk to him i hope he can explain himself you know like i just want to understand what's going on with him and since Regis is really vouching for him, and we are trusting Regis, at least that's what I understand, then we should also trust that love, right? I don't know. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!